And now, backstage with Steve Rizzo. You know, the most important lesson that I've learned from living on this planet is what truly happy, successful, optimistic people know about life. They know that they will experience good times and bad times, that they will have sad days, ecstatic moments, and that nothing in life is permanent and our success and happiness depends on our ability to ride the waves of change with equanimity. Happy, successful, optimistic people, my friends, are not exempt from the trials and tribulations of life. In fact, some of the happiest, most successful, optimistic people that I know have had to overcome unbelievable circumstances to get to where they are today. But what they all have in common is this incredible, this uncanny ability to shift their focus to a higher, more empowering part of themselves. Now, what I mean by that is that they actually allow themselves to temporarily step away from those moments that are bringing them down or causing them some kind of pain, and they immediately to begin to focus on aspects of their lives that bring them joy and simply lifts them, their spirits. It gives them confidence. They feel blessed for the things that life has given them rather than cursing what, what life hasn't given them or what life is currently throwing at them. And what I really admire is, is the way that they find the laughter during tough times and sometimes even the worst of times. And it's not that they're, it's a question of putting blinders on or ignoring the fact that they're going through difficult times, not at all. It's more of that they instinctively know when to shift their mindsets to something that will put them on a more productive path. And you know what? In reality, we all have the power to do this. You, you have the power to do this. It's what I call a power shift in focus. Being able to create a power shift in focus is one habit that can have a tremendous impact on your life. Why? Because it's a direct answer to the question that life is always asking of you, especially during tough times. Who do you think you are? When you temporarily step away from a challenging situation and steer your attention to something that makes you feel good, what you're doing is that you're actually replenishing your spirit and you're nourishing your soul. That's the very essence of who you are. You're recharging your inner battery with the emotional fortitude needed to forge ahead. And then when you go back to face the situation that's causing you unease in your life, which you inevitably do have to do, by the way, you're gonna have to go back to it. But here's the cool thing. It won't be as overwhelming as it was before. Why? Because you've calmed your nervous system down to the point where you are now embracing the situation rather than having that situation control you. It comes down to this, and I, and I know you know this, but you can't stop life from throwing stuff at you. You can't stop the unexpected from interfering with your goals and dreams. You can't. But you can always choose on how to respond. You can always choose to shift to a higher state of mind when unwanted things like just happen to you, when things are thrown at you. People who are happy, successful, and optimistic know that no matter what happens in life, life still goes on and they can choose to focus on the things that empower them. They refuse to give up their right to enjoy life and guess what? So can you. You can do this. A power shift in focus, even if only just for a few moments, can have a profound, a tremendous effect on how you cope with any challenge. And it can help you to understand the, the great, and it is, it's a great duality of life. In other words, you can't know peace until you've experienced chaos. You, you can't know joy unless you felt pain. And conversely, no matter how many tears may fall, there's always, always room for a smile and even laughter. You must experience one end of the emotional spectrum to fully appreciate the other. A power shift in focus is a skill that nourishes your soul and can significantly change how you view life. It can be improved with practice and it's a key to creating a happy and successful life for yourself. This is Steve Rizzo, and I'll see you next time behind the red curtain. I better see you. I know where you live. I'll find you. I'm serious. <laughs>